Hello everyone, this is Pranav and welcome to the Immigrant Programmers channel. Today we are going to see how to create React apps with absolutely no build configuration. It takes less than 30 seconds and only one command that you need to run on your terminal to get started. However, before getting into it, let me address the audience who's wondering what the heck is the Create React app. It's, a, it's basically a tool built by developers at Facebook. It gives us a massive head start when we start building React apps. It saves us from time consuming setup and configuration. And you simply have to run one command as I told you earlier, and it will set up with all the tools you need to start your React project. Without it, there would be tens of dependencies that you have to handle yourself or maybe have to install yourself. And you also have to manage all of them whenever a new React version comes out. So let's say right now you are on React version 10 and you have to upgrade to 12. I don't even know if there are real versions. Anyways, you have to go through each and every dependency, see if they are compatible with the newest React version, and then you have to upgrade them. And also you have to look out for any breaking changes that comes with each and every dependency's major release version. And that's a lot of work. The basic philosophy behind this initiative by Facebook is that there's only one dependency. It uses Webpack, Babel, ESLint, and many other amazing projects, but it provides you with a curated experience on the top of them. Also, there's no configuration required. You really don't need to configure anything. A reasonably good amount of configuration for both development and production builds is already handled for you, so you can focus on writing your code. Also, there's no login. If you are an experienced programmer and you want to custom set up, you can anytime run the eject command and do that. You just have to run a single command and all the configuration and build dependencies will be moved directly into your project so you can pick up right where you left off. Enough talking already. Let's get started with the officially supported way to create single page React applications with only one command. And that command is npx create react app and then the name of your project. Just as a side note, npx comes with npm 5.2 or above. So if you have an older version of npm, I would highly recommend you to go through the docs and see the instructions for older versions. And that's it. This process took about 30 or 35 seconds, but now we have a first ever React application ready to be served and ready to be tested. So let's see, let's go inside the folder and do a yarn start. It might be npm start for you. And let's see what happens. So as you can see, our React app is compiled successfully. If I go into the browser and go to the local host 3000, we see our React app is here up and running. And you have officially created your first ever React application. Let's glance through the folder structure here. It's a pretty lean folder structure with only a few files and the files that we actually need. So the create react app library has taken care of a lot of things. For example, if you see the package.json file, this file is pretty lean. It looks a little big because I've zoomed in for you guys, but it, it essentially has only about seven dependencies. And if you actually see a real application created without the create react app, it has a pretty bulky package.json file and it can be intimidating for new developers. And let's see the app.js file where the real magic is. Let's see if I change something over here. And all I need to do is hit save. It will compile again and we can see on reload that the application is updated. Now it's as simple as that. However, if you have to actually create complex React applications, I would highly recommend you to go through the docs. Going back to the create React app command, now you can optionally add a template to your create react app like this minus minus template and let's say i want to start a react application but this time i want it to be of typescript type and don't forget to add the name of your application so i'll say my ts app and what this would do is this would create a similar React application with a similar experience, but this time the template is TypeScript and all the files would be in TypeScript format. And there are many templates that you can choose and I would 
recommend you to go through the create react apps documentation where they, they where you could see the different kind of templates available i would add a link to it down in the description below so you can have a look i'll wait for it to complete i think it should take about 15 to 20 more seconds so i'll skip that part and that is it we have now created a brand new react application but this time with typescript and if i do a yarn start the experience would be pretty similar it would compile our app and run it in the browser on the local host port 3000 and just as a side note if you are new to typescript or don't know much about it and want to learn we have a video as well as an article about it and i'll add a link to those down in the description below and last but definitely not least i want to show you the final feature of the create react app library and that is npm run eject this is a one-way operation so beware that you cannot go back so before running you really need to understand what it actually means if you aren't satisfied with the build tool or the configuration choices you can always eject at any time this command will remove the single build dependency from your project basically it will put out the all the dependencies like webpack pable eslint and many more directly in your package json file so basically you can handle dependencies on your own however you don't have to ever use the eject the curated feature that the create react app provides us is mostly suitable for small and middle deployments and you should never feel obligated to use this feature however if you have a large and complex application and you do, and you really know what you are doing only then you should be messing with this and let's see what happens when we run this command are you sure you want to eject and they warn us again that this action is permanent i would say yes because i just want to show you so it's basically saying that i have some uncommitted files because i changed something so i'll do a git stash which basically removes all the changes that we have made and i'll run the command again npm run eject and this time it should actually be successful and i'll show you the updated package json file as you can see there were just seven dependencies and now we have so many i don't even want to count but now you actually know how helpful this library is especially if you're new to react or new to programming so thank you guys for making it to the end of this video Please let us know if you liked it in the comments down below. Also, if you have any questions or any recommendations on which topic should we be making the videos on, just let us know in the comments down below. Also, hit the like button, completely destroy it and also subscribe to our channel. It really helps. Thank you. Until next time.